Should all be in the right group. Sit down with your group. The next thing that we're gonna do is relay 
I look like y'all aren't really having so much fun, so I'm going to try to hype it up a little bit. The relay, I want group two and three. Y'all can come stand up and demonstrate. Four. Guys, y'all just stand in the back right there. That's fine. Okay. I want a line on this green line, like a single ball line, like this. Please. Again, over here. Single ball line on the green. Can I have a ball, please? Thank you. Scoot back a little bit. We only need one ball for this. Thanks. So are y'all watching? Okay. Scoot back, Brennan. No, that way. Scoot back to that second, that little line. See the little... See that one? Yeah, okay. The object of this is... It's like a relay also. I'm gonna, if I'm Brennan, I'm gonna throw it to him. He's gonna, I'm gonna run, he's gonna hit it. And the next person has to hit it. Trying to go back and forth, and as soon as you hit it, you go to the right. So you're, you're going to go this way, you go behind this line. And I'm going to run behind that line. Just bumping it back and forth. Mm -hmm. Just bumping it back and forth. Y'all understand that? Don't start like that. Like Fall by your feet. Okay, so this line. Another line over here. On this green line, also, this team on this green line. Thank you, Juice. You're giving this out for this last time. I have to talk to people that are here. Okay. All right, here you go. Alex K, you can score. And can I have the ball, sir? Oh, hello. Terry, you're going to have the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay.
have to learn the proper technique about swinging your arm first before you can do the approach and actually follow through, okay? So this drill is called the elbow to wrist. Basically, whenever you're hitting, it's kind of like, um, it, it, have you ever nailed something in the wall? It's kind of like that. Elbow to wrist, elbow to wrist, okay? You're nailing the nail in the wall. So what I want you to do is, sit down please. Thank you. What I want you to do is we're gonna um, get against the wall after whenever I give y'all my signal. You're gonna toss it up to yourself, elbow to wrist, and hit it. So elbow to wrist, like that, okay? And you're gonna be against the wall, so it's gonna come back to you. Now we're not trying to hit it on the wall, because that's gonna mess up the ball. So you wanna hit it on the floor and have it relay back to you. The wall's just there so you don't have to run like I just did to go get it, okay? So do y'all understand? Y'all yeah. ready to try that for me, please? And then we'll work up to the rest. Thank you. Y'all have four, group of three or four? Y'all have four, that's fine. Look, here's the three. 
Three or four is fine. If y'all have it extra, that's fine. Just get some number of three. All right, everybody sit down so y'all can watch, and then we'll play. I'm going to demonstrate. AJ, Hunter, Drew, y'all scoot over here, please. Okay, the object of this is called triangle pepper. Y'all learned how to bump, y'all learned how to set, y'all learned the basics of the spike, okay? So we're gonna put all that together so that in a real game, you'll be able to do it. So, I need two of y'all, that would be one right here, Katie. Shana, you'll be over here, okay? Matt, you're my number three. You're gonna stand like this. If you have four, you're gonna have four people, okay? Just like that. Make a triangle or make a square. Katie is gonna toss it to Matt. Matt's gonna bump it to Shayna. Toss it, bump it to Shayna. Shayna, when she gets it, is gonna set it, okay? She's gonna set it. And Katie's gonna try to spike it to Matt. Yeah. You understand? Maybe if you have four people. <laughs> If you have four people, you can kind of go, say, Matt tosses it to me. I toss it to Shana, she sets it up. And the person is going to try to retrieve the set and spike. And if you want to bump set, you can do that too. So Shana, if I'm going to bump it to you and you want to bump set somebody, you know what a bump set is? Where you just bump it? Okay, so. Bump set it, Katie's going to try, going to try to spike. It's better if you try to bump it to the, send it to this person over here and this person tries to spike to y'all too, okay? So do y'all understand? Let's try to get up and try. I'm going to come around and help more. Try to spread out from the group. Y'all can stay right here. Yeah. So, do y'all understand? Bump it, one of y'all gonna set it, another gonna spike. Now just put it on your spike and don't move it. You're gonna need it on this board, right? Snap it. Like, make it a triangle. These two people are gonna be like, you're gonna spike it to one of them. They're gonna have to try to. Everybody comes in on this side. 
Okay. Group four. Whichever group was group four, y'all come over here and grab a color. I'm gonna leave the name of the board right there. These are the groups. Come grab a come grab something out of there. Group three. Grab a color. You can just put the flag on the ground whenever you're done. Group one. <laughs> Woo. Grab a color, please. Just go put the plastic bag in the wall. And group two. Just grab a color. Whenever y'all are done, give me the plastic bag, please. Y'all all have one color? Yep. All right, y'all come back. Come hold your card. Come have a seat. Come sit behind the green line right here. Come sit behind the green line, guys. Colors. It doesn't matter what to, just grab a color. Go sit behind the green line. Thank you. Go sit behind the green line. Thank you, Mel. So everybody has a color, correct? Show me your color card. All right. I know y'all know how to play musical chairs. It's going to be like that. See, the colors that's on the thing and the numbers, these are the positions on the volleyball court. Okay? This is one. Outside hitter. Two. Middle hitter. Three. Opposite hitter. Always opposite the center. This is another outside hitter. And this is another middle hitter. It's the 5-1. You have five hitters on the court and one setter. Okay? So that setter is the person to get the second hit every time. So for right now, we're not going to go too deep into rotation, but I want y'all to stay on both these sides, everybody find your color and just go stand by your color. <laughs> Not laughing. 
She was laughing. Sorry, I'm laughing with my right? Right. Okay, y'all ready? Okay, y'all ready? Whenever I blow my whistle, that's when I forget I understand. <laughs> this one's about to die. Well, we have another one. Mm -hmm. I can put it. Okay. Hopefully that one works. Let me just check the battery. Okay. I know y'all are very sure. <laughs> So, the next thing that we're going to do, which will be the last thing for the class, this is called Queen of the Court. But since we have men here too, I'm going to call it Ruler of the Court. So, Since you got all that mess thrown away from the balls mm -hmm. this morning, bounce back. Bouncing back now. And she's kind of incorporating Justin into it. She's letting him get away with a little bit too much. But considering all the complications of everything, not bad. And then other people will see what's going on and they'll make plans for that now. Since they see that happening to her. You kind of learn from other people's mm -hmm. mistakes.
have one more safety issue. Do you know what it is? No? There are... I wasn't even paying attention to that. Yeah, we can hit one of those things and slide out from under our feet. Oh, yeah. Especially 200 pound man hitting that, you know. So. If you don't go to the fight, you would. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Awesome. Now, what else do you get to? Now, whenever you lose, if you're the losing team, you run off and you do two push ups. Okay? So we're going to make this one. Oh, yes.
Oh, there is. Oh, there is. Oh, there is. I don't think they all have four. Maybe we start out in the other game before. Turn it off. Oh, we turn it off. Uh, uh, it's a red button. Just push 